What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got hopefully a really quick crash course on installing UMod for Valheim. Now, of course, you'll need a dedicated server installed already or you can download it during this process, which I'll show you. If you'd like to know how to set up a vanilla Valheim server, check the description down below for a plethora of other videos as well. So to begin, let's go ahead and download the UMod installer to install it to our server. All that we have to do is open up Windows PowerShell, which you can find by pressing start, typing in PowerShell and clicking Windows PowerShell. You should run this as administrator. Once it's open up, simply look in the description down below for a line of text, which you can also find on the link in the description down below, which will take you across to the UMod installation pre-release page. Of course, I'll make an updated video to this when the full version comes out. If I don't, make sure to remind me down below. Anyways, now that we've pasted this text inside of here, what we have to do is hit enter and it will install on our computer. It's pretty simple. It'll connect. It'll go ahead and download and install the .NET 5 SDK if it's not already installed. Now all we have to do is wait for this to complete loading. Now that UMod is installed, all we have to do is type in UMod and you should see a response from UMod itself. This is the UMod agent. You can also run this from the command prompt window as such. Now that we know that it's installed, we can go ahead and download and install a brand new Valheim dedicated server. Of course, if you have your own, you should be able to add it to an existing one just by pointing it to the same path. I have it installed on Steam. All that I have to do is open up Steam, then find my Valheim server on the list, which for me is over here. I'll simply update it to the latest version, but of course, if you downloaded this with Steam CMD, Steps should be rather similar. Just get across to where the actual files for the server are. I'll right click, manage, browse, and now I'm where the dedicated server files are. You can see I also have Steam CMD here. Regardless, let's go ahead and do this. All that we have to do is click at the very top where this folder URL is and type in CMD. Hit enter and a new command prompt window will open up inside of this folder over here. Then all you have to do is type in umod install Valheim hyphen capital P. Hit enter and the dedicated server should start downloading and installing if nothing's already here. As you can see, it's validating all of the files that are already here inside of this folder. So when it completes, you should see Valheim server installed. Awesome. So now we have installed our Valheim server and it boots us back to here where we can type. It didn't download much. It just verified that everything was up to date. So what exactly do we need to do now? Well, all we have to do is type in umod new launcher space hyphen capital P and hit enter. By doing this, we'll create the umod unity windows launcher and you should see a couple more files pop up in here. If we sort by date modified, you'll see a new launcher.txt file. If we right click and click edit, you'll see this here. Umod update game core apps extensions, patch available, strict validate pre-release. This will go ahead and update and validate your server. And then right below here, we have the command to actually start the server. If you have an existing server, make sure to replace this line over here with settings from your existing start.bat or whatever you called it. I called mine run me for server.bat. I can open it up and copy the launch line over here. Then simply replace the existing one right over here. Let's just verify that things look about the same. Batch mode, no graphics, name, port, world, password, public. Cool, I can get rid of the original one that was here and replace it with mine. Let's go ahead and save. Now everything should be ready to run the server. Simply close out of it and run the new launcher.bat inside of this folder. You can close the old command prompt window where we installed umod from. Now the server is starting up and things should work just as normal. However, your server is currently still vanilla only. You should notice a few more files pop up if they aren't already created. But if we sort by name, you'll see a new umod folder over here. If we open it up, we have apps, config data, lang logs, and plugins. Inside of the plugins folder is where we'll drop plugin files. And the config folder is where the configs for different plugins are spat out. So all you have to do is close your server now that it's actually running and wait for it to close completely. Then in the description down below, you'll find a link to the umod plugins page with the category of Valheim already selected. Just make sure it's selected at the top. Now, currently there are only six mods at the time of making this, but you can also use the universal umod plugins as well. The most obvious plugin that I can think of is the server restarter over here. We should definitely be able to tell if the plugin's working and adjust the config. To download a plugin, simply click the download button and you should be given either a zip or a .cs file. All you have to do is drop this cs file into the servers folder umod plugins. 
drag and drop it across, and now the plugin should be installed. On this page, you'll find info about the config and the rest. So let's head back to folders and launch up the actual server. This way, we should see if the config is generated inside the umod config folder over here, and we should obviously be able to tell when the server restarts. Currently, it's set to restart at midnight, but I'll set it for, say, two minutes from now. How do we change the plugin's config? Well, in a moment, you should see a file appear in this umod config folder. All you have to do is simply open it with something like notepad. Open with, try, and notepad. After doing this, let's go ahead and add a time here. So it's currently 15.01. I'll set it to 15.03, for example. I'll save it, close it, and all you have to do to reload the plugin is close your server, then simply launch it up again. Usually you're able to type in something like umod reload into the console, but of course the Valheim console doesn't allow you to type. I'm not too sure if you can use it while playing the game, but maybe. Regardless, now we should see the server restart within a certain amount of time when it eventually starts up. So what I'll do is I'll also try and join the server just to see what happens in game. It's currently still 15.02. Let's see if we can join just in time. I seem to have just missed it. It's 15.03. But you can see over here, fallback handler could not load library, loaded plugin server restarter by Klaus. So maybe this plugin would work, otherwise let's quickly have a look to see if I missed anything. But it doesn't seem to require anything, so I would assume it should still work. Otherwise the plugin may just currently be broken. Either that, or I had to already be on the server for it to work properly. In that case, I'll change the time a little bit. Oh, there we go. You can see a whole bunch of text in here. I seem to have tabbed out at the wrong time, but the server is now restarting. Restarting server, waiting for five seconds, press a key to continue. That simply, the server restarted 60 seconds after the time that I defined in the config, so the plugin worked properly. Hooray. Of course, from here, you can install any one of the currently six plugins from the UMod page, but of course, more will appear here over time. And you can use the universal plugins under the universal section. So you can have chat groups, clans, skip night vote, etc., etc. And hopefully these would all work as expected. I'm not too sure if every one of these will work exactly as you expect, but a large number of them probably will. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot. And if you need any help setting up a server or doing anything with Valheim, make sure to check the description down below for a link to other videos on this topic. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.